Hello everyone, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Lance 2185. This is a great trailer for families and it has all the quality that you're used to in a Lance. If you're not familiar with Lance, they do a great lightweight trailer, welded aluminum frame, all top quality materials. You're gonna love the finish out in here. Now this trailer, it sleeps seven. Seven people, amazing. Triple bunk in the back, a family size dinette that sleeps two, and a queen bed. We're gonna take a look inside in just a minute, but let's go over the specs. It is a total length of 26 feet. Not very big, not very long, low profile, gonna be very aerodynamic. The base weight, 53.45. Now, you have to add options, and of course, wet weight, the water and the propane to that, but still, really easy to tow. There's a lot to see in this four season camper, so let's go inside and let's get started. When you're walking into a Lance, the only reaction is, wow. This is really a spectacular looking trailer. It just, it's got the white countertops, the white tables, the neutral colors everywhere else. It's light, it's bright big windows. I mean, look at these windows in the bedroom. Just huge. And that beautiful stargazer window in the front. I don't know. It feels so open, so bright, so modern. Hopefully you can see that on the film. Um, but I want to start right over here. I like to start at the door area, kind of what you're going to notice when you walk in. First thing is, look at this door and it's got slots in the front of it so you can put magazines, papers, keep a lot of things just tucked away right here in the door for easy access. The window in it has got a shade, thumbs up. They call this a Euro door. Not quite sure why, um, but this is kind of a nice feature. You can open it that way or just pull it up and then it's locked. So that's kind of nice, makes it really easy. Okay, also one more thing. I wanna show you right here at the door and that is a screen. So you have a screen that's built into this door frame. That's awesome too. Okay, let's talk about the windows right up here. You know, I'm gonna do something unusual and start at the bed area just because we're gonna work our way front to back on this particular trailer. Right here at these windows, they are acrylic windows. They are dual paned, of course, because this is a four season trailer. And the best part about the windows, well, they do have a screen, but they also open completely. You just push this out and tighten it down wherever you need it to be. And you've got a full open window, not just half of it that slides open with the screen. Then you've got a blackout shade from the bottom and a screen from the top. Now, if you wanted, you could always clip them together and do a half and half. That works too. So just one of the best things about the Lance trailers is these windows right here. Weird thing, there is a key holder. Now you will see the little key hooks in every trailer. And this one is down below this window right here on the side. Now, if you open the door, you just reach in and could get your keys right there. But still, kind of an odd place, Lance. Not sure what you were thinking there, but that's where it is. Let's look back here because Again, you can always tell a quality trailer by how they design around the head of the bed. There's some cheap, easy ways to do it with one big cabinet, or you could do it with a countertop and a drawer, but very few people do it with a countertop, a drawer, and a cabinet, and you get lighted uh, uh, countertops underneath, so it's not like blaring down from the top just lights up this little space next to your bed. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. So right here you have a hanging bar. Now this goes all the way to the front wall. So you can see that's probably almost three feet. The hanging bar is a little bit low, but that's what happens when you've got the nice aerodynamic front that's curved. 
Nice white countertop here. It's got the stone look to it and the feel. It's not soft or flat. I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to say. It feels like stone. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's got a rough texture on it. Let's take a look at the controls under here. And the first one that you'll see is going to be a push button. That turns on the inverter. Now the inverter is optional. It's 3000 watts. It used to only be 1500. Now Lance puts an optional 3000 watt inverter in here that is gonna take the battery power that you have and convert it to 110 to run your AC, possibly your microwave for a short period of time if you have the right battery power. So that is on there. You know, if nothing else, it's going to make those plugs work, those household plugs in your trailer when you're not plugged into shore power. So you can power up your computer and maybe run a few very small appliances, things like that. All right, the next thing down here is going to be simply the nightlight switch for that nice light that's on your countertops. Then you have all the 12 volt controls, the USB and the little cigarette lighter plug in, then a 110 plug. And right next to that, right here on the end is the battery monitor. Now that battery monitor is gonna tell you how much power is in your batteries and how much power you're using. It's a great thing to keep an eye on if you wanna get off the grid. So again, the battery monitor, the inverter, lithium batteries, and solar. That's all optional on a Lance. And I'll talk about those things a little bit more when we get outside. But back to this bedroom area, this is a queen size bed and it's a true queen. It's 60 by 80, just like the one at your house. So those sheets will fit, no problem. And the window, once again, I just keep having to mention these windows because this bedroom is surrounded by three windows and a power fan. All of them open. That power fan is going to create a huge breeze coming through here. So if you're in a spot that maybe needs a little airflow, maybe needs uh, a little air conditioning, but you don't want to turn that on, then you can really make it very comfortable in here with all these windows opening. Now underneath this countertop, there is a drawer. So there is a personal space for every person on each side. That's really nice. And the shelf on top. This shelf is about eight inches deep, so it does have plenty of space to maybe put some of those things that you want to just grab really easily. You want to use every piece of storage in a trailer, right? So I know what you're thinking. Is there any under the bed? Absolutely. Let's take a look. It's got gas props on it. Super easy for me to open. And you can see it isn't fully open to the outside pass-through. You know, a lot of trailers do that and everything gets mixed up, uh, exposed to the elements. This is completely finished out on the inside. I would not hesitate to put clothes directly in here and not in baskets. So that's really nice. Now, right on the back there is the inverter. You'll be able to see that. And now you can't really read it. No reason to get to it. The switch is over there on the side, like we told you. But... Nice that it's in here and accessible if it needs any maintenance. This drops right back down, very simple. Now there is an option for a Murphy bed here. It's a really nice jackknife sofa that folds up in front of the mattress. This just flips over, flip up the jackknife sofa and you have another seating here. You know, if you're camping with seven people, you might need some extra seating, right? Now across from me here is a space that has a vent in the bottom, but it's nice to have the another plug right here. It's nice to have two cubbies right here for a little more uh, storage space and a curtain that pulls across if you wanna separate the bedroom. Awesome so far. All right, let's take a look at this dinette. I love these. I have seen, I literally have seen six grown men sitting in this dinette having great conversation. It's huge. Windows all the way around. Now only the one on the outside opens, um, but you get some nice breeze there. These little globes up here, just really classy. They give it some style. You turn it on and off right up top. Now you can also dim the lights right here. Nice feature because you know, if you are out in a really dark place, you don't need that bright light staring at you. On the other hand, if you're doing some work, that bright light is really nice. 
Again, the nice stone feel on the top of this table and a single pole, but it's extremely sturdy. So I would not hesitate to use this as a workspace. Now this does drop down. And when you do that, slide the cushions over, you get a really nice sleeping space. The sleeping space is 56 wide and 78 long. That's a few inches short of a queen, but not much. A few inches narrower and a few inches, literally inches shorter. So two adults could sleep here, no problem. All right, let's talk about the step up because I think that's an important thing to mention in this day and age. I really like the step up here for a lot of reasons. One, well, it's kind of seating height for me, um, which makes it really easy to slide in and out. You don't have to step up and then sit down. That's just silly. However, um, the other reason that I really like this is because by lowering the floor, you lower the ceiling, which means this is a much more aerodynamic trailer going down the road. When you get taller, you're going to catch more air. So I don't know, stepping up is kind of nice. Also, when I pull out this drawer, pop that button out to unlock it, pull out this huge drawer. I don't have to bend over and stand on my head to get to the bottom of the drawer. It's right here. That's kind of nice too. This drawer is six inches deep, big enough for pots and pans, but you have two of them, one under each side. So you've got a lot of storage. I don't know. I don't travel with that many pots and pans. So I would put something else in at least one of these drawers. All right. Just push that button that locks this drawer into place so it can't go anywhere. Let's look up and talk about this. A venti air conditioner. This is a ducted air. Now you won't see that prior to the recent years of Lance, but great things about ducted air. Number one, they create a nice cool circulation of air all around the trailer, but the best thing it's quieter. It's quieter. I love that. You know, air conditioners, they make a lot of noise in trailers. It's like having a window unit. So having it vented, uh, ducted, is really nice. All right, moving on, let's look at this kitchen. Now this has a ch uh, shiny stone feel to it, uh, not the nice rough stone like there is on the table. This kitchen has such a contemporary feel. I mean, this is a glossy type stone here, gonna be easy to clean up. I like the fact that the sink is covered and the stone matches. So when I'm not using the sink, it really is like having one big countertop. But they do have an undermount sink here. It is a dark granite feel and an undermount just makes it really easy to just wipe up the counter, move everything into the sink. You get this nice black uh, faucet. Uh, it does have the movable sprayer on it. Now, I like the fact that I can just swivel the whole thing out of the way, but I don't know. It's got a nice style to it with the black uh, fixtures. Um, a window right here. Now it is acrylic and opens just like the other windows. It does have a screen on it. Really nice feature there. Let's put these back. I almost forgot to show you. You do have a flip up side table. So if you need a little more prep space, you've got a flip up side table right here. That same nice white polished stone. Let's look at the storage. That's always the important part in a kitchen, right? So up here, we've got some gear stashed for you, but it is a nice pantry. There's about 18 inches deep here. And of course you can see that it's about a foot and a half tall. Um, but some of the gear that's in here, I'm going to take a little side street. So this is a Bluetooth speaker. Now it's going to be great if you need music outside. Maybe you just want to use it inside or move it around. It does clip right here. And on the outside, I'll show you where there's another clip where you can put it as well. You could also just, I don't know, hook it up to your mountain bike and go have some fun. All right. Next to that, the TST, it's a tire pressure monitor system. And that comes with the trailer as well. I mean, nice feature to be sure you're safe going down the road. Right behind there is one of the optional uh, items, and that is the backup camera. 
So all of that is included in this particular trailer. So you'll want to look for that if you are looking at a Lance at the dealership near you. All right, let's get this closed. Have you noticed that they have this LED recess lighting in here? I, you know, I'm a big fan of lights that aren't right in your face. At the end of the cabinet, they have the slide out room controls, a simple in and out, down below the awning controls, and to the right, the lighting, of course, for the interior lights here and the porch light outside. But the most interesting thing is just up above. That quiet little square panel is going to be your furnace and your water heater because this unit has the Truma system that does both at the same time. It's actually visible in a cabinet down there. I'll be showing that to you, but it's easy to operate. You just set your temps and it's quiet. It's radiant heat. It's awesome. You will love that Truma system. So look for that in the Lance. There is another space here and that has the microwave in it. The microwave is optional. So you could have more storage if that's how you prefer, but microwave nicely hidden away part of what gives this kitchen such a nice, comfortable feel. After all, it is part of your living room, right? When you're in a trailer. So right below, of course, you've got the hood vent. It's going to have the light, the fan, and the stove right here. Flip this right back up. And you've got three burners. This is the nice iron grid, so you can take it out, scrub it clean really easily. Uh, nice silver knobs on it. You do have the sparker right here on the left and 17 inch oven. You've got everything you need right here in this beautiful kitchen. There is a plug right here on the front and let's look under here at the storage. You've got two shelves here. Now this bottom one goes all the way across. You can see there's a water pump and this hose that's sitting here is going to be for winterizing. You know, Lance does a very good job of making it super easy for you to winterize your trailer. We've got some videos out on that. So take a look if you need to know more about it, but that's what that hose is laying on the bottom. You can just tuck it in when you're packing your things, but nice shelf up here. Again, about two, a little over two feet deep, and the bottom is completely open with access to the water pump. Now this right here is what we call smart storage. Smart storage is in almost every Lance trailer, and it is a slide system with plastic trays. Now these can come out and you can wipe them clean, but they're really nice to be able to fit all the things in here without the wasted space of having to have drawers and drawer guides. So it's a, just a very efficient use of space. Now you'll see under the oven, there's a converter. And besides that, you're going to have the LP and the carbon monoxide detector just uh, hidden away down underneath. But let's take a look at the refrigerator in this unit. Now, right here on the end of the refrigerator, we've got the lighting system, not only for this nice LED strip, but also for the soffit light above it. So separate kitchen lighting, kind of nice. Maybe you don't want to highlight your kitchen if you're not using it. All right, let's take a look at this Norcold refrigerator. It is a standard two-way refrigerator, gas and electric. It's got the shelves on the side, nice three shelf inside and freezer up top. Now, just above that, Right up here is going to be the controls for the solar power controller. That's what it is. And you have a 190 watt solar panel option on Lance. And this one happens to have two solar panels on it. So you can have two 190 watt solar panels. That's almost 400 watts of solar. So right up here, this is going to tell you about your batteries charging and your solar output up there. Down below, this is the access to the Truma I was telling you about earlier. So it isn't a storage space, although it looks that way. You can see it's got your Truma in here that's going to heat the water and also heat the camper. Now, you don't have to heat the camper to have hot water. That's a question we get a lot. So you'll be good there. You can do one or both. 
All right, let's take a look at the entertainment right behind me. Of course, the swivel screen up here, it does pull out and it swivels so that it can face the dinette or the bed. And below this JBL speaker system here with the subwoofer down below. Really nice system here. They wanted to be sure you had great sound in this 2185. You know, family's gotta have fun, right? You've got the shelf underneath, all the plugs right here, uh, the HDMI plugins. This is set up so that if you needed to set up your games, easy to do right here. Down below, some storage. Three shelves there, now they are adjustable. So if you have something specific you wanna put in here, or if you wanted to take one of the shelves out, that's not gonna be a problem. Now that we've been through the main section, let's go into the other room. That's right, the door actually closes off the back half of the trailer. Not only is that awesome to create a large bathroom, but if you've got a bunks full of kids back here, you might want them to be in the other room. Anyway, come on in, let me show this to you. The sink in the bathroom is right here on the outside. Yes, it's separate from the toilet and the shower, but you know, if you wanna wash your hands, brush your teeth, you may not wanna be in there when somebody else has been in there. So anyway, a nice black fixture here. I really like the black fixtures, can you tell? And at the top, a really nice medicine cabinet. Two spaces right here. And up at the top right here, you do have uh, a 110 plug. You've got a cigarette lighter plug as well for 12 volt, and then a connection for cable or satellite and an HDMI plug. And that might seem kind of strange, but that is a great feature where you can plug in what you need to maybe have some games back here for the kids. So, um, You've got an extra little space right here for having some more countertop space. There isn't a lot of countertop space here, but there's enough for, uh, let's say, some toothbrush holders and a few things like that. You do have another 110 plug right here and the light switch for the light right above. All right, enough of that. Let's look at the storage right here because you do have another hanging closet on the top and down below, it isn't a full open closet, but it is a top space that goes all the way back and about 10 inches on the bottom half. So that's pretty nice. You've also got more storage right under here with two shelves there. So a fair amount of storage right here in the bunk bathroom area. All right, now let's cross over. Let's take a look at this bathroom. First thing you might notice is there's a ladder on the wall. If you don't need the ladder for the bunks, it's nice to have a place for it to belong and not just in the way or thrown on the bed. So it has a nice hanging spot right here on the wall for whenever you need it. All right, the shower, it is a rectangular shower and you know, it's six foot eight inside this trailer. So it's plenty of height. When you step in here, you've got the same thing because you've got a skylight. The door, slides right across. It stays in the track on the top and the bottom, but because of the curved top, it gives you a little more elbow room. That's always nice. The hanging bar for the towels and the toilet down below. So it is a small bathroom on this side, but if you needed to get dressed, dry off, you just clip this door open and you've got a nice big space right out here. So it's really very versatile. Remember, this is only a 26 foot trailer. That includes the tongue and you're sleeping seven people. So Lance has done a brilliant job at configuring this to be just about everything a 26 foot trailer can be. All right, let's take a look at these bunks. Now the bunks behind me, you do have one on the floor, one in the middle, and of course one on the top. These hooks right here are where the ladder hangs and they have the teddy bear mattresses in them. Oh, I love these teddy bear mattresses. They're 78 inches long, so they're really nice, even if you are a full grown person. Um, they're only 29 inches wide, but that's plenty for most people and kind of a standard 
smaller bunk size. They do have windows at the end and you do have lights in every space. There is a vent right at the top, so it can be a nice cozy space for all those little ones. You know, they always want to have their own corner of the trailer. Kids love bunk beds, right? All right. Um, now, there are a few other things that you can do with these. If you would like to flip up this middle bunk, maybe put this bottom mattress up on top, then you've got a nice open space here for carrying gear. You know, a lot of people get bunk models just to carry gear. Maybe you're one of them. So this middle one can fold up, give you this full space. There is a cargo door in the very back in case you're loading bikes or anything like that. I've also known people that fit small kayaks. I mean, amazing things can go in this space when you're traveling. Once you get there, you unpack and you've got great sleeping for three people here. All right. It has its own door coming in this side. Nobody needs to traipse through the entire camper just to get to the bathroom. Doors right here. And it's the Euro door, just like the one we saw up front. Really nicely done, Lance. Now we're going to head outside so y'all don't go anywhere. There is a lot more to see on the outside. It's always nice stepping out on these nice sturdy aluminum steps on a Lance. And it reminds me that Lance is so well built. They have the welded aluminum frame. They have the Asdell not only underneath this pylon, but on the inside paneling as well. If you're not familiar with Asdell, that is the composite paneling that basically is impervious to water. It doesn't mold, it doesn't rot, doesn't mildew. You won't have any of that stinky stuff if you get humidity in your trailer. I mean, it is the product that you want in the walls of your trailer. Did I mention it's lighter? They also use light ply. I mean, they do so many things to give you an aerodynamic, light, quality trailer. Check out Lance if that's what you're in the market for. All right, let's take a look at some of the things out here because you've got this huge awning. Now, I don't know exactly how long it is, but my guess is about 18 feet. When you put it out, there's no arms, you're not gonna hit your head on anything, and it has a wind sensor. So a little bit of wind kicks up, it's just gonna put itself away. That's awesome. All right, you can put another TV out here, very easy to do, and or this can completely unclip and go inside the trailer. This doesn't have to hang out here all the time. We just put it out here because you might wanna remember you can have outside TV watching. Right underneath, this is the tank fill because this has a 45 gallon fresh water tank. Fill that right here, just a vent right here and then 110 plugs. Next to that, the USB and the cigarette lighter style 12 volt plug. Because remember, you're gonna be putting a TV up here. So with the TV, you might need either one of these depending on which style you have venting for the refrigerator and for the Truma. And right up there, that is for that Bluetooth speaker that we talked about inside. It's also waterproof. Did I mention that? Because if it rains, don't worry about it. All right, back door going in and let's come around the back of the trailer. Now on the back, you'll see part of your Truma system and the fat tube ladder. I love this ladder because it's so sturdy. It can carry up to 300 pounds and this is a full walk-on roof. All the Lance trailers have a full walk-on roof and access to that bunk area in the back. Just open this door, flip this bunk up, and you're able to get all kinds of gear in and out right through the back door. You'll notice right at the top is the backup camera. Now the backup camera comes as an option on this trailer and you can take the monitor system that we saw inside. You'll be putting that in your vehicle, so there is no need to have any wires. Uh, nice system to have up there. And coming around, you will see the black tank flush and the city water fill. If you're hooking up to a hydrant, of course, you'll use the city water fill. Black tank flush is always nice to keep that 40 gallon black tank clean. 30 amp plug right here. And if you do have access to a portable satellite, or maybe a cable TV hookup at the campsite, those connections are right there as well. Outside shower with hot and cold right here on the side. Now let's take a look underneath. 
because right under here is where you see your poles for your gray and your black tank and the sewer hose connection. Now the gray and the black, they're both 40 gallons, so you have plenty of tank size there. You can also see the electric stabilizer jacks. This trailer is equipped with electric stabilizers. Now, all you have to do is push the buttons and they control the front and the back separately. So you can level these with no effort at all. That's awesome. All right, moving up another vent here and let's peek in access again to some of the systems. It isn't storage in here, but it's really nice to have access to everything that you need and all the mechanics of your trailer. Lance wants to make it easy to do any repairs or maintenance. Now on the back side of that big dinette, remember it had the two big drawers in the front? Across the back, let's get this open. There is more storage from the outside. So much that you want to keep out here, you just drop it in, you've got tons of space. Magnetic catch always holding these open, that's super nice. You might also notice that this has the optional uh, cover on the slide out. The slide out covers are an add-on that you could do from Lance and really nice for keeping all the debris and all the sticks and leaves, water, sun off the top of your slide out. A few more things. You do have a fresh tank pull right underneath this slide out. Now that fresh tank pull will dump your fresh water tank. Once you get home, you're done with camping. You wanna empty that out, keep everything clean and fresh. Empty while you store it, so you can start fresh at the next camp out. All right, this is a storage bin right here. Nice metal bin, keeping some of your outside gear, maybe things that you don't mind getting wet. You could easily hose this out, keep it super clean. And let's look right over here. Again, the magnetic catch is gonna hold this open. You'll see straps in here because this is designed to be a portable generator storage if you wanted to carry that. Now, of course you can put anything in here, but a portable generator would be fine because this is a molded cabinetry, so it can't leak out anywhere and all the fumes will have to come out the venting on the front. So if that's something that you wanna do, get off the grid, you can put your generator right there. Now underneath here, I wanna show you the toy lock. Now a toy lock is simply a way to lock up your gear, maybe your portable generator because you can't run it in here. You'll wanna set it outside, but this toy lock is very easy. You just pull the cable out, wrap it around whatever you wanna secure, whether it's bicycles, generators, whatever it is and lock it right back up. So a nice feature to have built into the trailer. The way Lance builds their trailers, they have a battery on each side. Now they are hooked together, but this makes it very easy to access each battery. This happens to be one of the lithium batteries from Lance. That's right, from Lance, you can actually have your trailer built with lithium batteries as an option. You can add the 3000 watt inverter that we saw under the bed. You can also add 190 watt solar panels, up to two of them. Now that's gonna get you off the grid for the weekend for sure, maybe a lot longer. So keep that in mind. All right, let's keep moving here. Now they've got a nice uh, molded rock guard on the front and then this beautiful fiberglass cap on there. This is tri five propane. Now, if that doesn't make any sense to you, that's because it's the Lance term. So Lance puts three propane tanks in here. You have two of them connected to the um, auto switch over, and then you've got a spare right in front. How many times have you thought, man, am I gonna run out of propane? I wish I had a spare tank. Well, Lance has actually built that in for you. So this carries three propane tanks, so you can switch it out no problem. All right, the Smart Jack is part of the Lance package as well. And I love this jack because you can actually set it to go to the appropriate height that you need when you're backing your truck under it. So super easy to use. I always love a good electric jack. Now let's come around because we do have a little more storage on this side. The pass-through that 
technically goes all the way through, but they block it off on the other side for that generator compartment. So, this is such a nice feature, and it holds hundreds of pounds. Uh, it's a heavy duty system. As you can see, it's really easy to slide in and out. Moride makes the best slide out bins and uh, nothing that you have to struggle with. Let's take a look right here at the controls on the side. You've got the controls for those electric jacks right here inside the camper. Now you have a white light on the front and that is gonna light up the front if you're checking your propane tanks, if you're hooking up, unhooking in the dark. You'll wanna reach right inside this compartment here, flip on that switch, and it's gonna light up the front of your camper. What a great feature. Now you'll also see there's a light in here. It is easy to turn on and off, just touch it, it goes on and off so you don't have to find the switch. One more thing in this cabinet, there is a four foot folded table and it isn't in your way. You can store it up on the ceiling. It slides in right on the top so it doesn't slow down any of the storage underneath. It's just a really nice design inside this compartment. Your other battery is right here and right here if you wanted more solar or if you didn't opt for the solar on the roof, you could always use portable solar and that plug is built in right here on the front. So many great things about this Lance trailer. I mean, I know there's some things that I've missed, so please let me know your questions. We'll try to help you out. I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. I'll see you next time.